everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make kabetsu menchi. Menchi or menchi katsu is Japanese ground meat croquette. Today, I'm adding a lot of cabbage to it to make it lighter and healthier. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this kabetsu menchi, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. 400 grams of ground meat. I'm using half beef and half pork today, but you can use beef only or pork only. Cabbage. I'm using half of this today. One egg, one teaspoon of dried nutmeg powder, some salt and pepper, half cup of all-purpose flour, and about two cups of panko breadcrumbs. Let's cut the cabbage first. I'm using half of this, so let's cut it into half. Remove the core. And cut it into small pieces. Like this, and into a large bowl. And leave it for 10 minutes to bring out the moisture. I left the cabbage for 10 minutes. Now it's wet and wilted. Prepare another large bowl. Take some cabbage and squeeze it really, really well. Like this and into the other bowl. All done. Add ground meat, nutmeg powder, one egg, salt and pepper, about a teaspoon, and two tablespoons of panko. And knead this well until everything is well cooperated. Like this. So the meat is like a glue to stick the cabbage together. And today I'm making eight cabbage minchi. So let's separate this roughly into eight. Flatten the surface and into eight. Like this. Let's make it into eight balls. I'm going 
to bread them, so let's make some butter. Flour and water, one, two, one. Mix it well. Let's make a loose pancake dough. Dip this into the butter. Then panko breadcrumbs. All done. Don't throw away this leftover panko. You can put it in the freezer back and freeze and you can use it next time. Now, let's fry them. I'm heating up some vegetable oil over medium heat. I'm using rice oil today, but you can use any oil that you normally use. Let's check the temperature by dropping a little bit of leftover butter. So a little bit of butter into the oil. And if you hit the bottom and comes up immediately, just like it did, it's the right temperature. Let's flatten this so that it won't take too long to cook through. Like a disc and gently into the oil. and fry them for 3 to 4 minutes on each side. Fry for 3 to 4 minutes and the bottom side is looking good. So let's cook the other side. The other side is cooked for 3 to 4 minutes and it's nice golden brown. Let's take them out and drain. All fried, so let's have some shredded cabbage so that I can use up the whole head or any salad you like. Cabbage menji here. And some sauce. I'm using tonkatsu sauce today, but any sauce you like. And Kabetsu menchi, it's ready to go. Time for the tasting. Let's cut it into bite size. Put some sauce. And itadakimasu. on the outside and it's so juicy inside. Half of the filling is cabbage, but it's still meaty and very satisfying. Delicious! This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one to two side dishes. Kabetsu menji is the main, so it goes here, and the cabbage I serve with replaces one of the side dishes, so nothing here. Some sort of pickle to refresh your palate for the other side. Plain rice here, sweet potato miso soup or any soup you like here and the meal is ready. I hope you enjoy. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!